first fish of the day. We're gonna put them right back. A little hook jaw going on there. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, I got him. There you go. Nice. Easy, easy, easy. E <laughs> I don't know. I think you should have brought a few more things. Uh, I forgot the kitchen sink, but uh, it's okay. You never have enough stuff. We're back at it. On an undisclosed pond with about four inches of ice. I scouted out yesterday, had about two. Uh, they got down to about nine degrees and we doubled the ice overnight. It's a breezy cold one and uh, we're planning on mostly doing some jigging here for a stock brook trout. They put some brooders in here. Well, I got the first one on. Slippery guy. Uh, big camera. There we go. First fish of the day. We're going to put him right back. It's still a little dark in here. It'll be a little while before it's light enough so these GoPros really look halfway near decent. Uh, it's our third trip out and. Uh, First couple trips were kind of hairy, weren't they? <laughs> that first one there, we was on about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch of ice. Uh, and you get out there and you could cut the hole and set your trap. But as far as jigging, if you sat there more than 10 minutes, the ice would start sagging. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I caught that one fish there and uh, I really wanted to get back out there and jig some more. And when I tried it the second time around there, I thought I was going to go through. So oh, Seconds from it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, so that wasn't uh, much. Anyway, we caught that one fish, and that was it. About, what, 13 inches? Something yeah, like that. it was a decent fish. but yeah. you know, it was Better than nothing like yeah, I did. Yeah. I didn't catch nothing that day. The worst one is Eric talks me into going three hours north. Three hours now, one way. <laughs> oh. Rook trout fishing. Now, we couldn't find any ice anywhere else, so at least we were on, what, an inch and a half, two inches yep. of ice. <laughs> we fished. What, until 1 30, 2 o'clock yeah. in the afternoon? Yeah. And Eric catches one chub. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't believe that. Yeah, it was uh, definitely an adventure for sure. Yeah, never found any fish. No. Uh, we did see some otters though. But, yeah, uh, we did too. Poking their heads up through the holes and stuff there. But uh, anyway, hopefully we're going to have a better day today. Yeah, yesterday I was actually able to watch fish come in school and then. Uh, it wasn't really like you were picking them out. They were going too fast, but uh, they were coming in. They were committed. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's get to fishing. Definitely. There he is. You got, you got, oh, nope. he had it. Right there. Got him. There we go. Oh, oh. quick release. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. That's a good one. Yeah, let me see the pliers. I don't want to mess him up. Nice one. And that's probably about the way they're all going to be. You know, yeah. that's standard size. Might catch a bigger one there, but that's going to do it. Oh, there he goes. He was in a hurry. That's the one thing I don't like about brook trout fishing there, especially trying to film, is you, you know, we got three feet of water and uh, it's hard to leave the cameras on all the time. And uh, if you don't have it on, that's when you catch one. And exactly. <laughs> by the time you get everything on there, uh, the fish is out of the hole. And Well, this is what we're using today. We're using a silver and gold spoon tipped with a piece of shiner. Basically just lightly flipping it at the top while every once in a while letting it go down to the bottom. This really isn't the traditional bottom either. It's more of a mucky, leafy bottom as opposed to the sandy, gravelly bottom that I usually fish. Oh, I see one. Are you? Yeah. Maybe I'll steal him from you. <laughs> yes, he was over on your side. 
I ain't got no bait on mine. I thought I'd try it without the bait and see if it worked. It's a good idea. You keep at it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you worry. It won't last long if you start out fishing me. Oh, and by the way, what's the count at? Uh, oh, two to one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm being a good camera guy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how this is working. I see the fish, they go over and bite your hook. Well, you might have to tr change it up to a little bit smaller size spoon. I'm using the same size, isn't it? No, I'm using six ounce and you're using a tenth ounce, hmm. which is just slightly smaller. And I was kind of wondering about that yesterday, if the smaller was better or not. Did you try both of them yesterday? No, no. Hmm. I did good enough just on the big one. Wind's blowing about 20 today, and we're supposed to get some snow. I don't think we're going to get buried up in this area there, but further south there, they're supposed to get quite a bit. Yeah, it's already started snowing a little bit. What the hell? What was that? Ice. That was breaking. Ice. Yeah. Almost sound like a plow hitting the tar. Oh, here he is. Get him? Nope. He's, there's two or three. There's one good one. He's coming towards oh. yours. He you took your bait. Yeah, he's going to take it because it just fell off. You see the bait floating? I saw him over in your hole there. Yeah. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, I got him. There you go. Nice. Is it more than one? Yeah. There's a couple of them. Come on, fish. Decent one, too. Yeah, nice oh. fish. Get him. Yes, sir. That's not too bad a fish. Yeah. Tail's all messed up there. <laughs> yep. Uh, Back down the hole he goes. Perfect. Oh, it wasn't perfect. I didn't catch one. <laughs> well, it's because you weren't holding your pole right. I took my bait. Probably ought to put another piece on there, huh? Yeah, I'd definitely put a piece of bait on it. Oh, don't break my hook. You break your hook? He did break my hook. Huh. I hate it when that happens. He broke my split ring is what he did. The split ring, huh? Yeah, now nah, I find one of I don't want to find it the hard way. <laughs> you don't want to sit on it? <laughs> I don't want to be pulling my shirt off or pulling my ski pants off and sink her deep. Yeah, it that wouldn't be much fun, would it? No, it literally disappeared. I just hope we have the camera rolling when you do find it. <laughs> <laughs> Hook myself to myself. Hey, yeah, uh, take the GoPro with you there and let us uh, see how the weather is out there. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a total different world. Don't leave that door open either. I don't want to get cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Burr. Stop moving around. You're scaring oh. the fish off. I know. <laughs> I could let you catch a fish without me being in here. <laughs> oh, jeez, Louise, I'm cranking it right up on high for that. No, you should have stayed in here, Dad. No, I heard you. Oh. Dad just decided to go to the bathroom and I caught this fish. I skated him over here to you. That's exactly what it is, probably, because he came in from behind us. Yeah. I'll oh. be walking across the ice. It's a she as well. Ooh, ooh. Easy, old girl. Not that it's going to produce in here at all, but back down the hole she'll go for another day. 
Uh, well, I appreciate you getting out there and uh, pushing the fish around. Yeah. No problem. Anytime. <laughs> red belly. I got a little tiny hook jaw. Whoop. Easy, easy, easy. E <laughs> this fly. I was going to show you the nice hook jaw on him, but <laughs> not no more. <laughs> that ain't the same one I saw earlier either. That other one was a pretty good one. <laughs> that was a good shot though. Where's my uh, bait bucket there, buddy? You don't get no more bait. Well, there's another one down there, too. Not after you hollered and threw the fish. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Almost on my jacket. You don't think those traps frozen too bad, I, do you think? No. They got snow in there now, kind of keeping it from freezing out. Yeah. We just uh, put a line of traps outside there. We haven't got them set there. We just put them there so that nobody would uh, creep on us too much. Now that they know, they're like, oh, them guys, they don't have them traps in the water. <laughs> we are recording, you know. <laughs> oh, I know, but you should tell them that. That's our secret. Oh, there he is. Nice one. Yeah. There you go. That was a bigger one out of the two. Well, I mean, it's not no monster, but... Now you might see me uh, reaching down and touching the ice first. Oh, oh, a double. oh. oh. almost got the other double. <laughs> and uh, he spit another piece of bait out. Nice. <laughs> got him. Perfect. I almost got the other one. Son of a gun. But what I'm doing is I'm touching the water. And I'm got him. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop. So I'll start again. What I'm doing is I'm wetting my hands before I touch the fish so I don't harm the fish. Yeah. Now I'm putting them in the water to keep them healthy and revived till Dad's done playing with his fish so he can compare. Oh, the ocean's bigger than mine quite a bit. should say not monstrous but oh oh look at that i just helped the fish out oh he's warm that's a cinco soft plastic yeah, we'll look at that in just a second he's spit yeah. it right out huh yep uh i don't know how many stocked fish and native fish alike i pulled cinco's out of and the trouble with them are that they get in the fish's belly they blow it up and the fish can't eat as much so they can't grow as much Resulting in small, undersized, unhealthy fish. Back he goes. Yeah, we'll see that. that that's probably this year's rubber. I've seen them this size naturally before they absorb water, and then they extend like sometimes five, six, ten oh. inches, and uh, they'll bloat right up to like three times the width, and yeah, it's just horrible. They get three or four of them in there, and uh, it's not good. Oh, the space one. Yep, I see him. There ain't a thing on my side. Really? Yep, nothing. There he is, no go. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I got him. He didn't scare nothing over to my side, though. He came over and uh, 
just looking at it for a few. <laughs> just covering me in water. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ain't that something? There's two or three of them hanging around his hole there. You know, three feet away there and ain't seen nothing to bottom line. Jeez Louise. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, yeah, he's gone. <laughs> the old fish walk. <laughs> yep. Did you get him back down the hole anyway? Uh, I sure did. At least there's a little bit of water on the ice. Or <coughs> more than a little bit. Just missed it. Wait a minute. There he is. Keep him down. Oh, right there at the hole. There you go, Pro caught it. So what happened now? The GoPro uh, caught it all on film. He came up and hit it and was trying to wait for my Supreme cameraman. Hey, you're getting ahead of me there, buddy. Experience. <laughs> <laughs> experience. No experience, yeah. You gonna try a worm? Yeah, just because I don't want to get in a big, big bucket. I'll leave this on there for now, and once you catch one there, then I'll know to change over. Or if they come in more aggressive. Yeah. yeah. Uh, trout usually aren't overly aggressive anyway. I mean, oh, you'd seen the ones yesterday. No, well, they ain't doing that today, are they? A couple are. But nowhere near as fast. Put that right there. Oh, oh got him. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Ah. I think I should switch back to shiny. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't take long, did it? <laughs> While it's slow here, why don't we just take a minute there and talk about some of our plans for this uh, winter there. Uh, of course, we're going to hit Sebago there if <laughs> it ever freezes over. Yeah. Uh, uh, one of the trips we want to take there is to go for some big native Rook trout there, you know, four or five pounders, something like that. Yeah. See if we can't get a few of them. And uh, we've got, what, a couple of different ponds we want to try for browns? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. With the past spring and uh, summer fishing, we found a couple of real good spots for browns. Uh, places I never would have thought for browns. And uh, I'm really anxious to get out there, especially yeah. where we have the waypoints and uh, where we were catching yeah. them earlier. And those are uh, going to be after January there because uh, they're either close to fishing right now or artificial, artificial. lure only. Yep. Uh, but uh, you said there's a, a lake or two we might try for some salmon there too, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's uh, one over our way and there's another one kind of over closer to the New Hampshire border. Maybe... Uh, if the one closer to us doesn't pan off, we'll try the other spot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. there's two or three right over here that produce good sized salmon, but yeah, slow fishing too. Huh? It's real slow. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, there we got quite a few different places we're gonna check out there uh, before the season is over. And hopefully, we'll have some pretty good days. You get the big camera on. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Ah, it's about the same as the other big one they had. Little hook jaw going on there. Huh? Ah, ah, ah. Hey, how's that hook? Whoop, 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 whoop. Little hook jaw. Nice fish. Oh, you put out here. Yep, hey. Who oh, caught the last fish of the day? <laughs> hey, it's not over yet. That's a pretty decent fish, huh? Is it on? Yeah. 
There he goes. Well, I think we've about had enough for one day there. We're uh, going to get backed up and get out of here. Yeah. Uh, uh, snow's picking up. Fish are slowing down. And, uh, well, we had a pretty good day, though. I mean, oh, uh, definitely. Probably, I don't know. I didn't really count 10, 15, 20, somewhere in there. Yeah. Enough to keep us busy anyway. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Uh, but till next time, thanks for watching. One more fish. You just swim by the hole. There he is. Yep. Still got him? Yeah, one last fish. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, not too bad. Email. Interesting. It's almost like he's got a, a tracker or something. Or something bidding. Yeah. Her. Yep. There it goes back in. Yeah. One last fish. Yep. Who caught the last fish now? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to help you.